hope you can see that okay this is uh, a quick video on a motorhome um, mixer tap leak if I put the pump on close the tap down if you can see it if you can see that leaking and you need to sort this out because it's leaking quite badly and what the water will pour down go down to the back and then it'll start rotting the plywood at the back um, so I'm going to show you how to repair one so I'll turn the water on, turn the pump off, drain it, you'll need an allen key I uh, can't remember what size it is, sorry and you'll need a pair of grips, adjustables or whatever you've got Okay, so to remove this little, um, it's just a, 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 a little blip that shows you which is hot or cold. I've just put a pin behind it slightly, moved it forward, then you can just pull it out. Okay, that's all it is. All right, and then you've got an Allen key thread behind. Just undo that. And then I don't know how far you have to come. It shouldn't be much. Or it come out all the way so that comes out now don't put him oh that's a good idea as well good tip put your plug in because if you lose it down there you're not going to get it back again okay so make sure you put your plug in your sink okay off comes the handle get a bit of tissue so it looks like what's it in the winter it'll do this as well um, if it does need the cassette there's a cassette inside here which I'll show you so you undo the top that just comes off just dry that there's a cassette this is a cassette underneath here I'll put that in the description down below where to buy one as well uh, sometimes you can just repair these by using Vaseline they've just gone dry because of the winter okay so just like I said just don't, no force you don't need any brute force it's all gentle just make sure you've got plenty of tissue get some more <coughs> put in the tap and a bit of water coming out. It shouldn't be a lot. You can either use tissue or a cloth. I just use a tissue. I've got loads of it. So there we go. So what happens with these normally underneath? These seals get swollen or they break. And that's when the water comes through. So I'm going to replace this one anyway. So push that down there. Don't do that. Get some more tissue. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Dried it out. Dried it one at the bottom. Now I've got a spare one of these which I keep uh, in just a little container. This is a brand new one. So. I'm going to pop this one in. Uh, it's got a slightly different seal at the bottom, but I'll put it in the. I'll put a link in the description down below where to get these from. They're quite cheap. If you look, they've got two lugs there and there. And if you look inside the tap, you can see that. I don't know if you can. Two lugs. There's a lug there. Let me just get a torch and make sure you can see this better. Hold on one sec. There, can you see the two lugs at the back? So you've got the three holes, which is your water pressure and your hot and cold, and then you've got the two lugs which line up. Okay, so that's what you've got to do. All right. Oops. There we go. Also, what you'll need is some petroleum jelly, Vaseline, okay? Uh, and the idea is just to put a little bit on your finger, and then on the base just put a little bit around these seals yep, that's too much just 
get that out of there. Okay, just put a little bit around the seals. Sorry, I can't see that. It's a bit awkward, this, in the way. Alright. And then, pop this in. Line them up properly. Hold on, where are we? There. So, so if you put it in wrong, it's going to say it'll just twist into, into, into position. Okay? So you can't go wrong with it. And then what I tend to do as well then, on the brass nut, I put a little bit of a Vaseline around the top of that as well. Okay. Just a little bit around here. These are quite common. They do go quite, especially in the winter when you've got it stored. The uh, seals tend to um, dry out a bit. So. And then what, when this when this goes, you don't over tighten this, just don't over cross thread it either. So just make sure it goes in. This is quite a, it's a slightly different fit, it's quite, quite a different up. Make sure it is down properly. Looks like it sits a bit higher this one than the other one, so you don't over tighten it. Okay, just gently. I'm only doing it sort of like just two fingers I'm using just to give it a bit of pressure. Okay. Give that a wipe. And then, before you stick it all back together again, what I'm going to do is going to put the cap back on for now, and then see if we've got any leaks. So I'll just dry that off. Okay, put the pump on. So we were leaking down the bottom, and we were leaking around the top. looks like we've solved the problem. I mean what you could do is remove the old one, make sure these seals aren't broken at all, re-put Vaseline around them again, resit it and then put the cup back on again with the Vaseline around the top and that should solve the problem. Um, you can always try that if you're a bit desperate and it's not. It looks like the pump's filling up. We've still got no leaks. Oh, I got the pump in next door. Okay, the pump. So I just checked next door as well in the bathroom. I've got exactly the same one in the bathroom. So I just there we go. No leaks. And then all you do take the top off. Find your nice fitting you took off the first time round. It's only plastic. It only fits gently. There's no. Don't have to force anything on. Be very <laughs> It's like a doll's house this place. That's it. So just put that on, finger tight. Replace the tap. That's it. Then grub screw, just be careful, it fits inside, you can see that, it's and just again, just finger tight, just a grub screw, it just bites, not too much, that's it, that's it, doesn't come off, and then replace your little hot and cold grommet, which just sits back in like that, and then push it in. There you go. 
if you make a note when you take it apart which side's red and which side's cold well hot and cold um, then you'll yeah so there we go so the pumps on now we'll double check it put it on again close the water off see if we get any leaks no done so I'll put a, a description of where to get these from and uh, hope this has been some help thumbs up would be great uh, any comments leave in the uh, comment section down below and uh, like and subscribe would be great thanks very much thanks for watching take care see you in the next vid